I am often asked, Lane, how many surfboards do you have? And look, the answer to that is a little scary. I have over 100 surfboards. Why? I don't know. I just love to have surfboards. And I have them everywhere. One of them is right here. Now, I've never ridden this board. It's a trophy and it's hand painted by an Indigenous artist and I absolutely love it. Let me take you on a tour to find the rest of them. We're heading towards the boardroom. When Kirk and I moved into this house together, we had a few prerequisites. One of them was enough room for my surfboards and enough room for his guitars and perhaps a studio. He didn't get his guitars here nor a studio, but I got my boards. <laughs> this is a brand new stick. I wrote it this morning, I freaking love it. Actually, my shaper, Mauricio Gill, made this for someone to hang on their wall. And when I came up to him to sign it, I went, nah, that's too good to hang on a wall. I need to put wax on it. And I'm really glad I did. It's a beauty. This is my boardroom. I have about 40 boards in here of the 110 I own. Who doesn't need another board? So this is my current favorite board. This is another favorite board. This is another favorite board. <laughs> that's my twin, my favorite twin fin made by Mark Richards legend. This is my big wave five foot five. This is my no-tox board. It's actually made from um, all recycled resins and it's an environmentally friendly board. These boards here are all brand new waiting for the urban surf facility in Sydney to open up so we can give them away. And then I've got my single fin, my twin fin, my long boards. Yeah, it's my happy place. 